Welcome to the Hunt V Show, brought to you by Mountain Dew Zero Sugar. Hello everyone, thank you for joining me today on this 4th of July. I'm your host, Hunt Voth. And let's go ahead and start off today's podcast for July 4th on this Tuesday morning. The Los Angeles Dodgers placed ace Clayton Kershaw on the 15-day injured list with left shoulder soreness the club announced Monday the move is still backdated to June 30th Kershaw was named an all-star on Sunday for the 10th time in his illustrious career the 35 year old owns a 2.55 ERA with the 1.05 walks and hits per inning pitched and 105 strikeouts over 95 and one third innings, 16 starts this season. Right handers Michael Grove and Gavin Stone were also recalled while left-hander Victor Gonzalez was optioned among a flurry of moves. Baltimore Orioles catcher Adley Rutschman is the latest star to throw his name in the hat for the upcoming home run derby the team announced Monday Rutschman is a reserve for the American League All-Star team and will make his first appearance at the Midsummer Classic. The 25-year-old is tied for third among AL catchers with 11 home runs this season. Rutschman will compete against Seattle Mariners outfielder Julio Rodriguez Toronto Blue Jays first baseman Vladimir Guerrero Jr., New York Mets first baseman Pete Alonzo, Los Angeles Dodgers outfielder Mookie Betts, and Toronto Blue Jays outfielder Randy Rosarena. And the July 10th competition, two spots have yet to be filled. Buffalo Bills safety DeMar Hamlin helped kick off the Yankees' fourth annual Hope Week by throwing out the first pitch at New York's Monday night game against the Baltimore Orioles. The Hope Week initiative runs from July 3rd through the 7th and was established both to spread encouragement through acts of goodwill and to generate awareness for special cause and organizations. Hamlin visited Yankee Stadium prior to first pitch with certified CPR instructors to educate Yankees players and New York City Public School Athletics League personnel. Hamlin, among with the teachers and coaches, also toured the stadium and attended batting practice. Speaking to the media, Hamlin gave a big thank you to the Yankees for taking time from their season to focus on such a cause. The Minnesota Timberwolves and star guard Anthony Edwards agreed to a five-year, $260 million designated rookie maximum extension. His agent tells ESPN's Adrian Wernerowski Edwards' new deal is fully guaranteed with options Source tells the Athletics is Shams Sharania. He's the fourth player from the 
2020 draft class to receive a five-year max extension, joining Tyrese Hilburton, LaMelo Ball, and Desmond Bain. Jonathan Druren is optimistic that signing with the Colorado Avalanche is what he needs to resurrect his career. Druin joined the Central Division powerhouse on a one-year $825,000 contract when free agency opened July 1st, putting an end to an underwhelming six-year tenure with the Montreal Canadiens. That's all I have for everyone today. Thank you for joining me and enjoy your 4th of July. Have a good day.